What up, you guys? It's your boy, Raider John. Coming at you real quick with an episode of Confessions of a Raider Fan. So, today I want to talk about certain things that really fucking bug me. Number one, justification of something that cannot be justified. For instance, OJ. That motherfucker did it. For y'all that were, are still OJ fans, I don't know if there is any out there. I highly doubt there is. That motherfucker did it. Guy gets convicted of rape. Fucking piece of shit. Fans, stop fucking supporting his ass, okay? Chad Johnson. Ray Rice. All y'all motherfuckers. All y'all women beaters. Eat shit and die. Y'all some pathetic motherfuckers, I swear to God. Y'all deserve an ass whooping. And all you fans that are trying to support this motherfucker. Shut the fuck up. There is no, I mean no, reason to hit a fucking room. And there is no justification for it. There is no fucking way you could ever back someone up that is doing something that's stupid. You do not beat the person you love. That is fucking pathetic. It's probably one of the first actual... Things that Roger Goodell, I think, got right. This, in no way, in no fucking way whatsoever, has a place in the NFL. You should never be allowed to beat your woman and get a two-game sus suspension. I found that fucking stupid as shit. I was very pissed off about it. I thought that motherfucker should have got suspended right off the bat for a year. How the fuck are you going to suspend someone... For a whole fucking year for smoking fucking marijuana when it's legal in three states, mind you, and not suspend someone for a whole year that just beat down his wife in a fucking elevator. Are you fucking kidding me? And for those of you motherfuckers, those of you motherfuckers that are still supporting his ass, you think a guy that's getting smacked on can't hold his uh, can't hold his hand can't hold they can't hold you know back on his anger or anything like that you're full of shit because that is exactly what jay-z did he could he had every right to fucking sock that bitch at the way she was socking at him but he didn't do it because you don't fucking do that when you're a man that fool ray rice is a bitch and all you fans all you people that are fans of him i'm sorry but he's a bitch you do not hit women if you if you hit a fucking woman you deserve to fucking go to jail Plain and simple. Or to get your ass beat down. And my confession today is, I'm even guilty of it. I've supported someone that does not deserve it. Um, there's been a few players, actually, that have done stupid things on our team that I have supported. And honestly, I I uh, will admit, I was biased on it. Um, but I see the light on certain things, guys. And this fucking situation, when it comes to hitting a fucking woman, I do not agree with at all. I find this disgusting. It is fucking the worst scum of the earth type of person would do this. Okay? I do not agree with it whatsoever. Do you even even the fucker didn't even do it open hand. He straight cracked her. That's fucking bitch. One thing I was taught, if you ever get to the point where you mentally think you're going to hit someone that you love, get the fuck out of that relationship, because that is not love. And that's all I got to say about that. And now they're planning on lifting the drug policy. Also, I want to talk about that. Honestly, I, I don't. The way I see it, guys, is I don't think it should. I don't think it should be actually legal to smoke weed. And I don't smoke weed, guys. Just to mind you, I'm not a fucking weed smoker. I do not. I don't smoke. I do not. I barely drink only on special occasions like a, like on Sundays. <laughs> or when I'm depressed, um, but I do not. I do not believe it's you know worth getting suspended over for a year. I really don't. Uh, they're planning on lifting it, and I find it hilarious that they're gonna lift it um, after suspending like a few players already and already ruined most of their careers, possibly ruined most of their careers, and now they're deciding to fucking lift it. Um, Probably because they're lo losing money. Just, just a guess. Another thing I want to talk about. Hypocritical pieces of shit. Those fucking double standard using motherfuckers. I hate fans that just totally 
like judge us and call all our players fucking criminals. You fucking ignorant pieces of shit. Y'all some ignorant motherfuckers. Now, knock on wood. But I'm going to go ahead and say this. Throughout the offseason, did you hear one fucking Raider player get arrested? No. How many fucking Niner players got arrested? Fuck, half the team? Broncos players got arrested. Fuck, Willis was just on a fucking mayhem round. That fool was just going crazy. He was going butt wild. I don't know what the fuck that dude was on, but every other day that fool was in the news. Broncos, fuck, they were... Uh, look at them now, dude. Look at them now. Uh, it, it just cracks me up. You know, there, there's players on every fucking team getting arrested. And the one team that we're totally looked at as the fucking, you know, black sheep of the NFL, we're looked at as the most negative team that, oh, only criminals play for that team. Only fucking ex-felons play for that team. We haven't had one fucking guy go to jail. <laughs> Are you fucking kidding me? And you're still thinking of us like that. All right. Also, they look at us fans as just totally, you know, criminals, bad guys. Just the all around the worst fan base in the NFL. I don't know who that fucker was on the radio that kept saying this shit. Said he did not want the Raiders in L.A. because of the fan base. Eat a fucking dick, you stupid bitch. Why you got to hate on the fan base, man? Because we're passionate? Because we dress up? Because we fucking support our team to the fullest? Or is it because we're loyal and we don't go anywhere? No matter what the fuck you haters say, we're always here. Always. Every Sunday, we're supporting our fucking team. Every single fucking Sunday. We do not stop repping our team, no matter what. And that's what bugs you for reals, because... No matter uh, when your team starts losing, you just stop talking about them. Guess what? My team has not have a, had a winning season in the last two years, and I started my fucking channel two years ago. So kiss my ass, you fucking unfaithful piece of shit. Now, my confession, my last confession of the day is this. I, personally, do not give a flying shit about what people think. I really don't. I um when it when it comes to like uh hating on my team, I've been hated on literally all day today cuz we lost the Jets. Um this was my reaction. Sim simple. Just walked into the office like that. <laughs> Got into the locker room went like that. It was my manager so I went like that. And then when he walked away, I went like that. <laughs> nah, I'm playing. <laughs> if you're watching this, my bad, man. <laughs> it was a rough day for me today, guys. But you know what? It doesn't matter. Because guess what I'm doing on Sunday? I'm doing something I've been win waiting to do for like the last year. But I had to save up money. I am going to a Raider game. I will be there live to watch my Raiders. I will be there live to support my Raiders. And I will be repping it with the rest of Raider Nation. And I cannot wait. So it's going down, guys. I love it, man. I cannot wait till I get there, guys. I'm going to be there in Oakland for about two nights. Uh, I will be, I will be, uh, you know, hanging around. Probably check out Raider Mecca on Saturday. Uh, if it, uh, And then, you know, go to the game on Sunday early. I will be tailgating. Uh, if you guys are in the area, hit me up. I will find you and i will hang out with you i will you know chat you up we'll have a beer together if you want on a special occasion uh so you know i uh, can't wait man uh texans versus raiders i'll be doing a couple videos while i'm there uh you know what guys it's gonna be fun i can't wait i can't wait so like comment subscribe go raiders